hey guys and welcome back to my channel this is mokami the environment list and thank you for coming back today i want us to look at the environmental laws that we have here in kenya that guide or provide for eia in which what which law says that eis should be done which laws usually instruct how eia should be done or which laws provides for the EIA process and all these licensing. Now we know very well and we have talked about this. EIA is usually done by experts who are accredited by by NEMA, right? Experts like me who have a license and who are registered by NEMA. Then what happens is that um, after you have contracted them, you of course agree, negotiate and agree on the professional fee they are supposed to charge you and they come to site and do the EIA and then of course you or the expert on depending on your uh, term of reference one of you submits the report to NEMA and then NEMA goes through the report and uses that report the EIA report as a decision making tool to either approve of the project or to uh, decline approving the project and of course we shall still see what happens if a project is not approved so which laws here in Kenya usually talk of EIA or usually provide that EIA is done here in the country one of them or the main one is the Constitution of Kenya 2010 remember we have talked about this previously I can't remember in which video I'm going to link it up somewhere here we talked about the constitution of kenya providing for to the having an obligation to develop systems for EA. actually i made it for you i have the constitution with me here in article it is in article 69 it is in article 69 Mm. which says article 69 uh part one that is the state shall that is the state obligations one the state shall establish systems of environmental impact assessment environmental audit and monitoring of the environment so the the constitution of kenya provides for this this eia it states very well that the state shall provide systems. The state will come up with directives on how EI should be conducted, on how environmental audits as well as monitoring should be carried out. And remember we talked about why we need the EIs. The constitution in relation to that also talks about um, eliminating processes and activities that are likely to endanger the environment you see some of the activities and processes could be in the in uh, in form of a certain project that is about to come up right a development project or an activity that you want to do want to do an industry so is that isn't that going to harm the environment so the government has an obligation to ensure that such are eliminated and how do you eliminate them it is by not licensing them all by ensuring that the NIA is done and the client is advised so the projects that are implemented are well monitored all right because it is only after an EIA that you can be able to monitor a project also remember the state has an obligation to to ensure sustainable exploitation utilization and management management and conservation of the environment and the natural resources so the constitution of kenya provides for EIA like the constitution of kenya approves EIA and the government, the state has a responsibility to ensure EIA systems are established. Okay, so the first law that talks about EIA is the Constitution of Kenya 2010. So the other one that talks about EIA is EMCA, Environmental Management and Coordination Act 1999, the college chapter. 387 so this one this act this act i have it here is what 
we said provides for NEMA. Remember, NEMA is the one that licenses these projects. So it is this act that uh, also talks about the environment. I want to read for you what it says about EIA. Because, of course, the, it is NEMA. If this law provides that an environmental impact assessment be done, then it obviously provides for consequences and, of course, the processes in which an EIA is, is usually done. This act, MCA, you see, when I say MCA, I mean the Environmental Act. Okay? The Act of Parliament. That is the law we have. Eh? So it provides, it is the one that establishes NEMA and it is NEMA that implements and licenses EIA projects okay so then EIA here it says I'm going to read as it is this is in article section 58 it talks about application for an environmental impact assessment license notwithstanding any approval permit or license granted under this act or any other law in force in Kenya, any person being a proponent of a project shall before shall before for a uh, for an financing commencing proceeding with calling out executing or conducting or causing to be financed commenced process proceeded with ex carried out executed or conducted by another person any undertaking specified in section in second schedule of this act submit a project report to the authority in the prescribed form giving the description the giving the des described information and which shall be accompanied by the yeah prescribed fee that was cut off so you see it is it is the, it is in the acts that any person before you finance or even let somebody finance before you proceed before you carry out before you execute before you commence if you conduct or even before you look for people to do all this you must first submit a report to NEMA so this is the second law that talks about E I A the first one is the constitution the next one is MCA, the Environmental Act. It says that you must provide these EIAs. Um, it also says the proponent of any project specified in, sec in second schedule shall undertake a full environmental impact assessment study and submit an environmental impact assessment study report to the authority prior to being issued with a license by the authority. So AMCA is the second law that talks about EI or that provide that governs environmental impact assessment process all right so the third one is a regulation that is provided by the mca so in mca we have regulations eh? uh, to be able to operationalize this mca this law just states what should be done but how should it be done you get mca talks about what should be done like for example you have heard what it says eh? before any person starts commences finances all these executes before it is done they should submit a report to NEMA now regulations are the ones that build on that MCA says you must do a EI report now a regulation is usually formed from that part now telling you how it should be done how should the report look like? Who should do the report? How should it be? How many copies should be submitted? Now that is the regulation. So we have a regulation that is born from MCA or a regulation that ensures that this, this act is operational. You get what I'm saying? This one just states that any person before you do all this, you need to do a report. A regulation is going to tell you how exactly the report should be done okay so that regulation that governs EIA is called the environmental impact assessment stroke environmental audit regulation of 203 EIA stroke EA regulation 2003 it, it was operationalized in 2000 
and three and remember MK was operationalized in 1999 and NEMA was formed in 2002 so in 2003 that regulation was was became operational and that is what governs now it is the real thing when it comes to EI so if you want to learn exactly and get more information on how an EI should be done who should do it and all these you should get the regulation it's called the environmental impact assessment stroke environmental audit regulation of 2003 and as i said the this regulation is born from mk1999 so i hope now you understand so you can see ea is well supported by the law these are the laws that we have here in kenya ea is supported by including um, international laws of course the the moment or the thought of or the root cause of in environmental impact assessment and these NEMA institution environmental institutions like NEMA the environmental acts all these borrow history from the international law we've been talking about the history of environmental law so all these all these things break down until it gets to the ground where now they get operational so you can see like i was trying to show you how environmental impact assessment is supported in the law it is governed it is there it is supposed to be done by the law it should be done so now you see the most the, the important thing or what is what i'm trying to say it will be an offense to do to go ahead with your project without an approval from NEMA because we have said after we said the two products of an EIA is the report and the license right a report first and then NEMA approves later and gives you an approval letter or a license so constructing without a license or approval is an offense that's an environmental offense you get what i'm saying so now you know you could even be charged and of course this happens a lot of times so it is good now that you know before you start just first look for a license look for an expert call me text me dm me email let me know and advise if your project should be subjected to ea or not so in the next video i'll be talking about um Apparently, which reports, which projects should do an EIA and which ones should not. I'll see you then. But before we meet again, subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel. And of course, share this channel with your friends. Let's share, 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 share squad. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.